What's up everybody? Your favorite Seth Frosty here talking about nutrition. Uh, we did a video called You Are What You Eat. It was a really basic, basic concept video, got a ton of traction. You all ate it up and loved it. Um, so this is going to be an extension of that. Uh, so right now I started training pretty hard again, eating again, all that. And it, it's going to correlate back to that you are what you eat. And that's going to lead into this next statement here, which most top amateurs, professionals know, uh, but it's a fine line that we play with. And Fuad Abiyad, a uh, friend of mine, he's another IFBB pro, uh, he's a big eater. But he made a few posts that made a ton of sense to me, and we've talked about, everybody does, you got to get a little chubby to get big. You have to. You have to get a little chubby, get a little thicker to put on that real size. Um, and he's put it in there, and whenever it goes back to that correlates right back to you are what you eat. You know, if you are a person that is in physique or classic physique, you want a more mainstream look. But you still have to put on size if you want to continue to get better. Put on, you know, shape your body, mold your body. And if you need to get bigger, drugs don't do it, supplements don't do it, it's going to be the food that does it. Those supplements, drugs, all that, those are, those are little things that help you get better, but they don't work unless you're fucking eating. You have to eat to put on size. And now, if I'm sitting here and I say I only eat one cup of white rice and six ounces of chicken at each meal, I'm eating, but that ain't getting the fucking job done. So then I'm like, oh, maybe I eat a cup and a half of white rice. It's not going to be enough either. If I want to put on real size, if I want to put on quality mass, I'm going to have to put the fucking calories back. Now, does that mean that I'm going to eat pizza once a day? Snacks constantly? No. I'm not talking about getting fat to get big. I'm talking about getting a little chubby, which that means is now I need to get in all of my meals. Six meals a day, and I have to make sure they're spaced out properly. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm meeting all of my caloric needs and exceeding them. Because I need my body to be able to accept everything and continue to grow at the rate I would like it. Now that's where the supplements and drugs also come into play if there's something that you're doing. And those are also going to add, that's going to add another factor in. Because if I'm taking certain, certain supplements or certain drugs, well that's going to, uh, that can escalate things and I need to eat more because of it. That can... Uh, inhibit things because I'm not taking the proper things. It's the science experiment. So, fuck it. Let's just go into what my program is right now. What I eat on a regular day. Now, I shouldn't say that because uh, being where I'm at and being a little more advanced, um, I know what I need to fuel my body on for bigger body part days, back and legs. My back day and my leg day have, many, have more calories in them than my other days. Okay, and do I need the same calories on an arm day that I do a leg day? Absolutely not. So there, right there, for me, thinking logically and putting this to the test and everything, I'm going to say that on an arm day, I'm going to back off the food so that my, my body still isn't under that crazy amount of stress of just flooding my fucking body with calories and food. So I'll end up putting my higher calorie meals and my higher amounts of food on bigger training days because I need them, okay? Does that mean I don't eat on arm day? Fuck no, I'm still eating my six meals. I'm, not, I'm just not eating the extra carbohydrates, the extra fats, and the extra snack I do at night, which, is, which I'll explain here. So um, now for me, I like to say I want to get body parts bigger, okay? want body parts to get bigger. I don't want to systemically get bigger. I don't want a bigger fucking gut than I already got. I got to get a little chubby. That's thickness. That's not fucking protruding stomach from just shoveling food into my face all day, every day. No, I gotta get, I'm going to get a little chubby. I'm not going to get systemically bigger, wider waist. Um, if I get bigger shoulders, chest, and arms, and bigger back, great. I still want my waist to be, when I diet down, 30 inches, 31 tops. 
So then I got a good look, okay? So there's that happy medium between getting fat, chubby, and having quality gains, all right? Because I don't want to systemically get bigger and look like dog shit because I'm already a wide-waisted white guy. So let's get into my program. Uh, I have added in protein, a protein shake every single morning. Um, that's something that I never used to do previously. Whenever I was younger, I used to be able to drink protein shakes here and there, but now with Farm Fed, Axe and Sledge, I, we, the team and I, created this product. Um, Grass-fed, 100% whey isolate, and then it has a digestive enzyme in it to help with the, uh, the breakdown of the lactose. I do one scoop every morning with uh, about six ounces of egg whites and four to, ten, four to eight ounces of uh, almond milk. So if I do the egg whites, I do the shake in the morning. I wake up, do my cardio four days a week for about 30 to 40 minutes. Wake up, get the heart rate moving, uh, make my coffee, and then make my shake, and then start getting everything prepped. Drink my shake, drink my coffee, get the kids up, pack their lunches, do all that. But I have my shake in the morning uh, with it. Like I said, I'll do a half a cup of oats. I do half a cup of oats, six ounces of egg whites, um, six, four to eight ounces of almond milk, one scoop of protein powder, and then I, depending on the mood I'm in, I might throw a little bit of peanut butter in on a leg day or a back day. If it's an arm day, I might throw a handful of frozen strawberries, fresh strawberries, some blueberries, simple shit. Or if I'm feeling fresh, I'll throw in peanut butter, like some type of cereal, because I feel like being a little chubby that day. That's the fun that adds into this. Um, so, but nevertheless, that, I'm I can control how much I want to put in and how much I don't want to put in. All right, so there goes on the bigger training days, I add more. But I do that to start my day roughly around 6.30. So I, eat, I have that at about six, between 6 and 6.30, I have that shake. An hour and a half later, two hours later tops, is whenever I have my first meal. But that shake starts my day because I did my cardio, or I've been you know, sleeping all night, waiting up, I'm waiting, waiting to wake up and eat. Um, I got my protein, quick digesting, quick absorbing into the body. I got my egg protein in there, I got my oats, I got my, some sugars from the fruit or whatever I decided. Put it into my body, good. An hour and a half later, I'm ready for my whole meal. I don't sit down and eat a whole meal in the morning because um, it just wasn't sitting well with me. I didn't, have, uh, I didn't take the time to sit down and eat for 10, 15 minutes or take the time to prep the meal. Uh, so I did that and it has been working out tremendously. Uh, a little con it's a convenience factor as well as it's giving me a way to put three to six, seven hundred calories into my body right in the morning. Tastes great, get the sweet tooth going, make me feel good, I feel fresh, my stomach's still flat because it's not bloating the shit out of my stomach. And then an hour and a half, two hours tops, I put my first meal down which will be Depends on the day. Typically, uh, six ounces of cooked chicken with about a cup to a cup and a half of white rice. Perfect meal. <clears throat> That's how I do that. And then my next meal, depending on the day, typically on my higher training, on my bigger training days, I'll do six ounces of ground beef or steak, red meat, with um, eight ounces of either a sweet potato or a white potato. I'm still feeling that out right now. I prefer the sweet potato. Um, then after that, I typically go train. I train probably about two hours after that. Um, I wait two hours because I like my body to, uh, I like my stomach to be somewhat empty. Keeps me a little hungry. If I'm hungry when I'm going to train, I usually fucking go let it rip. Because before I train, I take a scoop of Demo Day, which is 25 grams of carbohydrates, some gummy bears because they make me smile on a big day. Uh, scoop and a half to two scoops of fuel pump. Two scoops is a little bit much with a full scoop of demo day. Then post-workout, that second meal with the red meat on like arm day, shoulder day, I just do chicken. Uh, post-workout, uh, I do chicken and rice again. Uh, a cup of white rice, maybe a cup and a half, depends on how the workout went, how I'm feeling, uh, with six ounces of chicken. People might be asking why you're only doing six ounces of cooked chicken. Because my weight's still going up. I don't need to 
put eight ounces in there and stress my body out. I want to make sure that my body is not feeling stressed while I'm doing it. I, I want to put, I want to get outside of my comfort zone with training. When I'm eating, I want to make sure that I feel good. Because if I feel good, then I'm going to deliver. If I feel good, I mean, you got to fucking eat the food, but don't hold. If I put too much in, I get uncomfortable and I don't deliver in the training. That's me personally. Uh, then I do the chicken and rice. That, that'll be that's shake. One, two, three. My third full food meal is my post-workout chicken and rice. After that, depending on the day, uh, I might do another red meat meal. On bigger training days, a back or a leg day. Um, or if it's a higher calorie meal later in the week that I feel I need. Uh, or I'll do chicken and rice. I might add a little bit of oil to that meal so that I'm getting some fats in there. Uh, and with, I might substitute in the rice with the potato. Those can be interchangeable, rice and potatoes. But keep in mind that with white rice, whenever you're eating white rice, some people digest better. Some people are like, oh, I don't like it, it bloats me. Potatoes, potatoes are gonna make you thicker. Whenever they're making you thicker and you feel like you need a break, switch or vice versa. Um, and then by then it's, uh, by this point it's about seven o'clock, six. And then my next meal is usually with everybody because gymnastics runs late at the house. And at that meal, it'll depend on the day of what we're cooking. We usually do it as a family meal. Um, rice or potatoes. Um, usually potatoes for me. And yes, it is late at night, but it doesn't really bother me because I'm fucking doing my cardio. I'm training. I'm working. I'm fucking sweating. I'm going after it. Uh, and it'll typically be some type of lean meat. Um, but if, it was, if I do a lean meat previously, I might do a red meat after on the bigger days. Um, just feeling it out obviously, but those are things uh, that you also need to do to your diet. And then my last meal of the day uh, could be, last meal of the day is another shake <laughs> or, or, or more, or leftover dinner. Uh, the last meal of the day with a shake, like I said, I'll do, uh, I'll do a protein shake uh, with some, I'll mix it with egg white so I get my egg protein in there, one scoop of protein powder. And then I take that and I use that as my milk and I pour it over cereal. I'll do a half a cup of oats, a cup of raisin bran, and then take a handful of some type of shitty cereal, put it on top and dump it on there. A little chubby to get big. Um, now throughout the day, uh, I will do snacks or I will throw things in there to add extra calories. Trail mix. I might take like a half a cup of trail mix, throw it in with a meal. How do you know when and when not to do that, Seth? I've been doing this a long time, so I just feel it out. Trial and error. Whenever I notice that it's becoming too much, I won't do it. Um, that meal with the family, that meal number five, late at night, like that eight, nine o'clock meal that I have, that meal probably two to three times a week will be a high calorie meal, okay? Like I said, I'll switch that red meat meal that I usually do at six o'clock 536 o'clock with that whenever I do that um, that high calorie meal is not a cheat meal I'm just going to I'm going to eat probably one and a half times the amount that I normally do so we might do spaghetti with with meatballs they're homemade meatballs that I make so I know what's in them they're 90 10 85 15 ground beef uh, some onions and some fucking Italian seasoning well, how many do I eat rather than eat like three of them equaling that six ounces I might eat fucking six of them. Rather than one cup of noodles, I might eat two cups of noodles. Therefore, it's not really a cheat meal, it's just a higher calorie meal. That's how I view it, on a day that I needed it. So I cook at this house, so therefore I dictate what we eat depending on my training and how it all works. So that's something that perhaps you have the luxury of doing, perhaps not, but uh, those higher calorie meals like that are also necessary. Another high calorie meal that I like to do is stir fry. It's higher calorie. You know, you're going to put a sauce on it. It's going to have sugar in it. It's going to have possibly some oil in it. Um, and rather than eat, oh, I'm going to eat the six ounces of chicken with some veggies and like a cup of white rice. Fuck that shit. Let's go big. 
Let's eat two to two and a half cups of white rice. Let's eat heaping piles of the stir fry and shovel that shit down. Gotta get chubby to get big. It's not that that's a cheat meal. It might taste like it and it's great. I'm not viewing it as a cheat meal. That's a higher calorie meal in which I need to grow. So the other things that you can do are burgers and homemade french fries. Okay, uh, is that a cheat meal? Yeah, kind of, but a homemade french fries. I just take potatoes out of the pantry, chop them fuckers up like french fries, toss them in a little bit of oil, bake them in the oven, put whatever type of seasoning you want on the things. I do, uh, I like seasoned salt, dill, um, rosemary's good too. Uh, pretty much whatever the fuck you want. So then put them in the oven. They're, they're, not, they're, not friend, they're not fried, they're just baked french fries. So then I do the burgers and with the burgers, yeah, the bun's not the greatest thing, but a high calorie meal like that will go a long way because if I only eat six to eight ounces of potato, of a regular potato, bro, that sucks. I'm sitting there cutting in half, spray butter, a little bit of ketchup on it. Eight ounces, you'll get it down. But whenever you're putting on size and you wanna get bigger, I can sit down and I could eat fucking 20 ounces of potatoes in french fry form like nothing. I can just sit there and keep eating them. Why? Don't know. Just how it works. I can eat two homemade burgers and fucking 20 ounces of potatoes in no time. Great way to add on the size. Now, uh, those three meals are all going to digest, absorb, and eliminate differently in your body. Um, need to make sure that you keep on point what those are doing to your body and paying attention to how you're feeling. Because if you eat burgers and fries two to three days a week, yeah, it's gonna fuck your gut up. That systemic, that getting systemically bigger, that's possibly to happen. If you're taking a bunch of shit and you're not really like that hard gainer type. Uh, whenever you do the stir fry with the sauce, it's chicken, white rice, and vegetables. That's much different than spaghetti and meatballs and burgers and french fries. Like I said, those are, those are my go-to high calorie meals or a meatloaf, make a meatloaf with homemade mashed potatoes and dictate how you wanna make the mashed potatoes. I know you motherfuckers can put away mashed potatoes, but like I said, keep in mind that you're running that fine line of chubby and fat. Because if you're eating like that, your snacks need to get cut way back. If you're eating like that with these high calorie meals, your cheat meal, that one cheat meal you get a week, need to make sure that you keep that under control as well and not do it every day. Me, I do two to three high calorie meals every day, every week. Yep, yep, probably two, probably two with a cheat meal. Yep, two with a cheat meal. That cheat meal, that might just be pretty much whatever I feel like eating. I'm not really gonna keep an eye on anything because I'm already on point with all my stuff. It might be steak, potato with dessert. Something simple as that. It's a high calorie meal. The dessert is how I view it as the cheat meal. Uh, it might be pizza. I might just eat fucking half a large or a whole large pizza. Might be sushi with a dessert. Those are all, like I said, that high calorie meal. I'm running a fine line between that high calorie meal and it being a cheat meal. But at the same time, you are not going to get fucking bigger by eating like a bird. You're not gonna get bigger by eating six ounces of chicken with a cup to a cup and a half of white rice. This won't happen. So, uh, I have mine, me and my program. I'm feeling it out, you know, as the weeks tick by here, but I make sure that uh, I take notice to how I look. Don't get caught up on the scale. Don't stare at it constantly every day, being like, oh man, if I eat this, I'll just keep here. Fuck that shit, weigh yourself once a week. Weigh yourself on fucking Tuesdays. Same time every Tuesday. That's how you'll be able to tell if you're making gains or not. Give yourself the time, give your body the time. Don't pussyfoot around it, go to work, do the fucking work, eat the fucking food. And then if on Tuesday you like the way you look and everything went well, keep it, fuck it, keep moving on. If you don't like what happened, reevaluate why you didn't like it. If it's because you didn't gain any weight, if it's because you gained too much weight and you're a flabby piece of shit, there you go, that's what happened. One week all of a sudden, you ate too much fucking burgers and french fries and ice cream and shit. Look down, got a little bit of belly, can't see the dick no more. Looks like you gotta cut back. 
make sure that you're keeping yourself in check every day with your food, not lying to yourself about it, but also making sure you get in the macros you need to grow. Because you got to get chubby to get big. That's why I do those high calorie meals. Am I worried about this fucking extra inch on pension? No. Would I be worried if all of a sudden it was like a, a fucking chunk? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So you got to run that fine line. Like look, right here in the bowl, we got the fucking Halloween Kit Kats. Just because those are there doesn't mean I need to eat them. This is the bowl. How many bananas we got in here? I think we had twice as much two days ago. We're a banana eating family. But that banana, the way I look at it is, is I could eat a banana or two a day, another piece of fruit, adding calories, but also adding those vitamins and nutrients. Because um, that's important as well. So, for me, for pretty much everyone, you got to make sure that in order to put on size, you're using quality food, not garbage. Some people are out uh, eating McDonald's and Wendy's and all that shit. That's all well and good. It's not really quality food. You're gonna, it'll make you fat, it's full of a bunch of shit, and uh, it'll only take you so far. Is it tasty? Yep, there's your cheat meal concepts. But that's not something that you're gonna get huge on and make crazy quality gains. No, I don't know any fucking pro bodybuilder that bases their entire diet around foods like that. It does not work. Okay, they will make you fat, they will fuck with your shit, but you can utilize them for the cheat meal. And that's that extra calories that'll help, help get you chubby. Put in them calories, put too much of it every single day, just get you fat and you won't make the gains you like. So, uh, I'd probably say that questions are probably flowing in, how do I know where that fine line is between chubby and fat? And actually even another line, which would be like being, making some gains, but not making those big gains. Because let's face it, if you're an amateur, you, and they're like, oh, you gotta get bigger arms or bigger back. Bro, you're not getting a fucking bigger back by eating more Anadrol and train, just training. No, you gotta eat, dude. So you, and, and, and that's that fine line between like, oh, I, I can't get too big. I don't want this to happen, but I need to put on that size. And then also that fine line of chubby and fat. That chubby and fat thing, you, Bro, it's something that me personally, how I do it, rather than look at the scale, that scale will fuck with your head. It will run your life. Because there'll be, you'll get caught up in it being like, oh, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get over 260, or, or I can't get below 260, or I can't get below 220, I can't, if I get below 220, oh man, I don't know what'll happen. Then you'll gorge yourself, you'll fuck up your program. Okay, you gotta feel your body. That's why me, like, I just use the mirror in my bathroom. It's a pretty good mirror, too. Uh, so whenever I'm in there, I'll just look at myself and be like, all right, where am I? You know? Whenever I'm flexing in any mirror or looking, I'm not actually, like, looking, oh, look how good I look. I'm looking at the progress that I'm making and how I need to improve. So that fine line between chubby and fat, you need to look in the mirror, feel how your shirts are fitting. How are your shirts fitting this week compared to last week? How are your jeans fitting? How's everything feel? How are you sleeping? How is your cardio whenever you're working out? How is your belt fitting whenever you strap up to do deads or squats or bent overs? How's everything functioning? You wanna, not, you wanna make sure that, like I said, whenever you go to pinch, you're like, oh man, I got, all right, cool. Getting a little chubby, I don't know if I like this. And then if all of a sudden you're like, fuck this shit. You're grabbing and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to look like this. And if nothing else is growing in size and don't fucking lie to yourself like, oh man, I'm getting huge. And then your fucking gut has definitely gotten bigger. You went too far. You should be growing everything here. You should, this should be growing this should not be, okay? Get a little chubby. Yeah, dude, you're gonna grab that extra layer from them high calorie meals, from putting on, eating more food, lifting heavier weights, ripping the body out. This fuel we're eating is to work for your workouts. 
so that you can go fucking insane. Not for you to hold back and just kind of, oh, I don't want to go too hard, I need to grow. No, 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 go hard as fuck and fuel your workouts. And uh, so I personally go by how everything fits me, go by the mirror. I look in there, I'm like, man, my arms, I know they're getting bigger. This shirt fits a little snugger than it did last week. Um, pants, man, oh man, my legs definitely got bigger. How do you know your legs got bigger? Well, because I wore these jeans last week and they weren't this fucking tight. I wore these jeans two weeks ago and they're definitely way tighter. Step on the scale, oh, it looks like I gained three pounds. Man, I would have thought I would have gained more weight. All of a sudden, there it is, it creeped into your fucking head, that goddamn scale creeped right into your fucking head messing with you. I thought I gained more than three pounds. Fuck it, I don't care if you gained three pounds or not. You look way better, you feel better. That's how it's supposed to go. We're building a physique. We're not looking at the scale on stage. Nobody gives a fuck of what that scale said. Who cares? Whenever you're out in public and you look great, you look stellar, you're fucking killing it. You look great and you've got a fucking sweet pump in your arms. You look good, your lady's loving it. All that's fucking well and good. And somebody's like, oh man, how much do you weigh? Oh, you know, I don't even know. I don't really weigh myself. I just know that I feel good. Oh. Fuck him, who cares? If you say, oh, 205, oh man, I would have thought you weighed more. Yeah, no, I, I keep myself in shape. I like looking this way. Bro, it doesn't matter, nobody gives a fuck. Just look good, feel good. It doesn't matter what the fuck somebody thinks of what you look like, it matters about you, your girl, and how you feel inside to make your life better. Because once your life's better, I know for a fact, if my life's going well, everybody else's life in my surroundings, in my surroundings is going well. So. You are what you eat. If you eat McDonald's, pizza, and shit like that constantly or a little too much, you're going to be McDonald's and pizza. If you eat your chicken and rice, your red meats, your stir fries, your burgers and fries, your sushi, your fruits, you're not going to be a fruit if you eat fruit. You're going to put on that size. You have to eat, you have to consume more calories than you're burning in order to grow and get thicker. And, you know, there's a ton of different people out there that'll be like, oh, there's a science to it. Motherfucker. Everyone's different. Everyone operates differently. The older I've gotten, the more I realize that I know exactly how I need to eat in order to look a certain way. Just from experience. Just from how I live my life. Um, and you'll do the same. You know, there's some bodybuilders out there that catch shit. I'll name one right now, Regan Grimes. Man, he's just young muscle, dude. Everybody's like, oh man, he gets so puffy and big and his big old puffy cheeks. Motherfucker, that was me when I was 24, 25 too. 26, 27. My fucking cheeks were huge. Oh, it's young muscle. Now that I'm old, my fucking, my face isn't the same. My body operates differently. My skin's way thinner. That's what happens when you age and maturity and have consistency with things. So if you're a young guy, Bro, you're going to be on that fine line. You're going to push yourself. You need to eat. Put the food away. But you also need to make sure you keep in check. Don't get too fat. Fine line. And it's okay to reel yourself back in and say, Fuck, dude, I went too far. All right, I'm going to back off the food on certain days. I'm going to back off the food on certain days so I don't go overboard and keep pushing. Because if you got too fat and you recognize that you were fat, and you're like, oh man, what do I do now? Bro, you cut back on your food, you hit the cardio a little bit, you still gotta eat to continue to train and grow, but you're just gonna have to work a little harder and scale back those high calorie meals, scale back some of the carbs and fats, make sure that you uh, just chop off that fat, and but don't keep staring at that fucking scale every day. Don't do that, just go by how you look in the mirror and how you feel. Because if you get caught up in the scale, You'll, your, that scale will control your eating throughout the day. You step on that scale once a day, it'll freak you out. You step on that scale two, three, four times a day, oh man, you'll be all over the place. You'll be all over the place. You'll be eating, you won't be eating, you'll be waiting four hours to eat a meal, you'll be trying to eat a meal every two hours to put your body under a ton of fucking stress and ain't nothing gonna go right. That shit will happen. So, that's about it.
me, my snacks, like I said, I'm real simple. Chicken, the red meat, the red uh, the chicken and rice, red meat and rice. With, I'll eat beans is something I throw in with my rice sometimes, add a little bit of texture. Um, keep it simple. Don't overthink this. You are what you eat. If you eat one thing all day, you will be that thing. Just pay attention to what it is. If you're able to find that happy medium between chicken, rice, potatoes, red meat, the cheat meals, the fun stuff like pizza, you'll be able to find a combination that actually is pushing you to become this fucking anabolic monster that just fucks the weight up and loves life. That's what we want you to do. And other thing, make sure you're hydrated. Don't forget your fucking water. Fruits and vegetables, vitamins and minerals. Young guys, don't take them for granted. And sure as fuck, make sure you're getting in your fluids when you're training hard and eating big. So necessary. Cannot stress that enough. But that's it. Uh, it is Halloween here, so them shits are there. I'm glad I don't, I'm not a big Kit Kat fan. I'm more Reese peanut butter cuffs and York peppermint patties. That's my shit. If you see me a little extra thick, I eat the candy. But I hope everybody learned something. Watch the other videos. Uh, subscribe, comment, like. Give me your shit, man. Tell me some of the things uh, that you guys have problems with. Go hit us up on Instagram. That's where I do most of my social media. So I hope you enjoyed. Eat big. Get big. Look like a big stiff dick for the old lady. Then give it to her. Be good night.